sleep like fasting are two fundamental functions that we are better understanding today. Any person having fasted themselves notice sleep changes. We try to document them, and here are the first results. I have come to consider five pillars of health. You can reset on your own as a human being. This is nutrition and fasting, but fasting being not the absence of nutrition, being a function in itself, activity and sleep, sleep being not the absence of activity, but a function in itself, and emotional balance. Now, we, uh, during a fasting period of 4 to 21 days, 14, 22 persons were asked to subjectively mention symptoms and adverse effects they might have experienced during this uh, fasting. Interestingly enough, the most frequently quoted was sleep disturbances. This term was vague and included any change in sleep conditions. So we have now uh, other studies who prove or who, who document uh, more precisely what these sleep disturbances are and when they happen. Let's have a quick, uh, let us have a quick look at sleep and its function. When it's dark, melatonin secretion starts and we are programmed in our circadian brain and clocks to sleep and fast. Whereas during daylight, melatonin secretion decreases, melanopsin is activated, and we should be physically active and eat. Roughly speaking, sleep can be divided in two main sleep qualities happening in cycles. REM, REM sleep, more superficial, and deep sleep. During the first part of the night, deep sleep phases or non-REM phases is pre are predominant. During the second half of the night, the sleep is more superficial, and so-called REM sleep or dream sleep is predominant. In the last 70 years, an erosion of the average speaking, uh, sleeping time has been registered from 7.9 hours in a survey in 1942. We sleep today on average only 6.3 hours. Deep sleep is characterized by big, huge, powerful waves slower, and um, they um, lead to reset and recharge the immune system. Deep sleep is needed before learning and to enhance learning ability and memory um, and consolidate memory afterwards. So you need to sleep well before and after. It has been shown to flush out beta amyloid, one of the two molecules known to cause Alzheimer's disease. For the uh, unhappily, the alcohol disrupts the sleep and leads to fragmented sleep patterns. REM or dream sleep shows wa brain waves more similar to the ones of the wake state. It's here. And these very heavy waves are the movement of the eyes. The particularity is the total suppression of muscle tone you see on the EMG except for cardiac and respiratory muscles and eyes muscles. Thus the name REM for rapid eye movements. An intense neurovegetative activity is characteristic. REM sleep phases have been called emotional first aid, emotional first aid, because it sorts out our emotions, pictures and other material uh, we accumulated during the day and the past, thus diminishing anxiety, supporting morning processes, boosting intuition and creativity. Lack of REM sleep correlates with higher suicidality. Coffee disrupts REM sleep, I'm sorry, but it's a morning, you still can do it in the pose. We ask the patient how their sleep changed during their stay at Bochinger Wilhelmi Clinics. The patient could indicate if their sleep was shorter than usual, as usual, or longer than usual. We have performed a statistical analysis of the first nine days of fasting. Because the number of responses was not sufficient for statistical remodeling for the longest fast over 10 days. The statistical analysis 
showed that the sleep duration is becoming shorter during fasting. Maybe not in the first two days, because sometimes the people come exhausted, have overworked themselves, sleep too little, so two days are not significant, and probably maybe some people sleep more. But on the average, you sleep less long. On this statistical analysis, the interpretations are made on the basis of p-values, which indicate whether the patient has had a night longer or shorter than usual. Taken together, these probabilities are summarized on the figure to show the changes in sleep patterns. It can be seen that sleep seems affected by the fast, with decrease of the length of sleeping period in the course of fast. And this is coherent with our clinical experience. But another aspect that everyone who has fasted can, can confirm, when, they, when we um, ask them whether the sleep was most, more restful, more restorative, on scales between zero, not restful, and 10, totally restful, then we had other results. The figure on the left, well, this figure shows that the response were highly variable. However, the relatively large size of our population allowed us to find a trend with the statistical analysis. The patients found that their sleep was more and more restful as they went on fasting. Um, this is especially true after a week of fasting. Thus, based on these first results and our clinical and personal experience, it seemed to have two, maybe three phases in sleep changes during long-term fasting. The first days with more agitated nights, followed by a reduction of the sleep length, and a feeling of being rested, all those sleep lengths was diminished. This is a comparison you can do. With this sleep quality, during, when, when you're in the eating mode, you would be much more tired. And many people say, I, I slept agitated this night, but I feel well today, fresh. So this is confirmed by this. And then we performed, this was the data of our clinic in Marbella. And so the questions, since we noticed there is a, a very striking difference, are always more precise, and then we, we use now validated questionnaires, etc. But we performed another study of detoxification to fasting, where we also analyzed sleep quality. The 109 subjects could grade their fatigue from 0 to 10, and their sleep disturbances, that's the panel, uh, bottom panel, it is um, from 0 to 10, sleep disturbances, meaning sleep difference than um, in their everyday life. And it is striking that both measures of fatigability and sleep disturbances significantly decrease with the time. So a confirmation what we said before. The fatigue decreased rapidly in the first days of fast. The sleep disorders decreased massively during the food reintroduction, suggesting that there is a real change in sleep conditions during fasting and they need to be better understood. Some explanation, we had a chief doctor, Heinz Fahner, during 30 or 40 years in the Bochinger Wilhelm Clinic in Überling, and he wrote an excellent book, which uh, he gave some uh, ideas what could be the, the explanation for these changes. Ketone bodies, fatty acid, uric acid, uh, pyruvic acid, and the sympathetic activity at the beginning of the fast would give this agitated night, and then uh, parasympathetic activity afterwards, which could explain why uh, the course it takes a, a cruise control, a cruise course after some days. We can add, uh, during a day of fasting, you do more physical activity, so you accumulated more fatigue products. And then you have also a more structured day, you are tired in the evening, you don't drink coffee or alcohol, so all these aspects of a structured fasting day in a special setting can explain also that the sleep um, isn't bettering. So during the, well, the six pillars of good sleep, which you can really reset during a fasting period, especially long-term fasting in the right setting, is the regularity, going to bed at a certain time, uh, waking up at a certain time. The duration must be not less than seven hours, but in these seven hours you have to count the many, many, 20 or more uh, very short awakening moments, so 
accumulating together all the sleep periods, you should probably be in bed eight to eight uh, half hour. The temperature is very important, and this is another aspect. During fasting, the temperatures is decreased in your body, so you can really um, uh, uh, sleep better than when it's uh, the darkness. And if it's not dark enough, put an eye mask. <laughs> and avoidance of alcohol, caffeine, and the calm. Again, if it's not calm around, put earplugs. And learn to cope with anxiety, this is another aspect. So, I would like to compare two uh, functions of humans that are probably not yet so well documented that it should. What is sleep? Sleep is the best reset of brain and body health. I quote uh, from Matthew Walker, he's a great sleep specialist. And we say fasting is the most potent and safe non-pharmacological intervention. Wakefulness causes low-grade brain and body damage, especially from oxidative stress. What we found is fasting and appropriate food reintroduction enhances total antioxidant capacity and reset brain and body health. When you are awake, you age. When you are asleep, you rejuvenate. And we can say, when you eat, you age. When you fast, you rejuvenate. And the conclusion will be, sleep is the most democratic, freely available health insurance. That's the conclusion of the book of Matthew Walker, which I recommend to you warmly. And we add, like fasting, is the most democratic, freely available health insurance. I thank you very much for your attention.